Okay, so in this video, we're going to be doing the back of this Chevrolet Camaro here. It's 1968 Chevrolet Camaro. We're going to be doing this section. So, shouldn't actually, this should be much easier than the front, because the front has these tricky edges to work with. This is just a sheet and a sheet, but there is this curve to be wary about. So what we're going to do, okay, we're going to hop into wireframe mode here. And I think I think we're going to we're gonna to have to move this down a bit because it's a bit too high. I did intend it for that line, but I must have made a mistake here because that's that's definitely not right. Yeah, I think from there on we'll maybe move that down a bit. So what I did there, I pressed I started pressing G, I pressed G twice. Because that way, so like G, notice how it stays along the line. It will, it's, it's a bit messed up compared to if we do GG, it sticks to the line, the edge loop it's on. So it's much easier just to move it uh, up and down and it'll maintain its, it'll maintain the X and Y location. Well, it's just, it's just easier to do if you want to move a vertice and maintain the original shape. So it's, it's better to use that in my opinion. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually we're just going to move these two. We're going to extrude those. And we're going to extrude them to we're going to try matching them up with like vertices like these. That will make it easier for us in the long run. And up there and then finally there. Okay, and we're going to have to create an, a loop cut here for this. So, F to fill that, and then F to fill that entire face. Alright, and we can extend this down a bit. Wait, actually, no, let's... Yeah, this is completely flat. We want to curve it, because this is the curve that we're going along, this one right here. So, let's curve that a bit. Alright, that looks, that looks good, because it's got that shape, which is what we were looking for. Here, I think we're just going to we're just going to extend this right here, then extend that right there, and then put another one there. And yeah, of course we're going to have to move this down a bit. Oh, whoops, I forgot one. Make a loop cut there. All right, and that's that. That's probably the trickiest part of that whole section. Now we can just extrude these right here. Uh, yeah, right. Actually, no, a little bit back. And we're gonna move these ones. Here. Uh, actually, we should probably move this whole assembly a bit back because we want it to match up right there. Don't want some very weird-looking trapezoids all over. Okay, we're gonna have to forgive this one here. That's gonna have to look like a weird trapezoid. So does this one that we're gonna put there. But for the most part, we want them to be rectangular. That's looking very nice. Really like how that's turning out. All right, so shouldn't get this. Shouldn't let this go to our heads. We're not even close to done with this model. We're just trying to get this low poly model done as fast as possible, so that we can move on to the high definition stuff. And 
then actually we're gonna move this down a bit right onto that line now we can I think, yeah, that looks very nice. Although, I highly doubt it's accurate, so. Yeah, this is most definitely not accurate. Let's check this back view right here. So, yeah, we've made a few mistakes. There's no doubt about that. Or have we? No, we haven't. It's good. It's good. I made the mistake saying that we had made a mistake. Because this vertice is supposed to be right there. This vertice. Yeah, okay. So let's select this edge loop here. And we're going to extrude it one more time to the end of that right, right there. Alright, now let's try matching these up. Let's move that there. Let's move that there. Let's move that roughly there. looking it's looking good it's just yeah we're gonna need to fix this so we're gonna have to move this along the X you know move these all along the X we don't want to change their position on the Y or the Z just move them along the X yeah I think that's that's good where it is very nice let's check it in Let's check it like that. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that curve is right about... Yeah, that's that's correct. Alright, now, <laughs> what to do about this? That definitely does not look right. It does not look like a wheel well at all. So let's create a loop cut right there, and then we're going to move this up. And then we're going to do the same thing we did here. Well, before that, we should probably extrude all of this down the very bottom. Or wait, it's in fact we should we should just move it right there. Yeah that makes it easier. Start sloping it downwards a bit. I see. Same problem we, uh, we encountered last time, but... Or no, last time we had this triangle issue. So we're going to actually move this back up a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. Alright, actually. And yeah, we got to get that slant. And now we can move these two down to create that rectangle. And then... How did we go about this? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, now I remember. Fill that. Fill that. And yeah, we have... We have... All rectangles, squares, trapezoids, rhombuses, whatever. We have, we have, we have what we need. Now let's just curve this up properly. Oops. Yeah, see this is way too far out. So let's check here. Yeah, this should be right there. Oh, and then this this should also be Ooh, whoops, that's the wrong edge loop. That's correct edge loop. This should be moved in a bit further too. Um right there. There we go. Nice curve of the car. So before we do the wheel well, let's just get this part out of the way. Let's create an edge loop there so that we won't have this hassle later. Let's move that there. I'd say that's about accurate. It does curve up a little bit, so we're going to have to give it that. Or 
part, this part at least, comes up much farther. So it is that and uh, sorry about those background noises. All right, so now we're going to see the the issue here is that this this pokes up right. It's a wedge. It's the it's a spoiler. We don't want to put that right now. So. Yeah, what we're just going to do is we're going to select all of these. Or no, actually, discount that one. And then we move these all in. Create an edge loop right there. Then match these all up. And yeah, probably should get that curve right, because that's definitely not right. What is it? Oh! Huh. It is right. I think this is just too high then. Okay, yeah, we're gonna move this down a bit. And then we'll move this slightly down. There we go. Let's see what it looks like when it viewed solid. Yeah, I'd say that's looking pretty close, pretty accurate. And for a low poly model, low poly just meaning it it has very few faces, very few vertices. Low polygon, that's the, that's the full name. Let's take a look at let's look at a side view. Yeah, I'd say we're pretty we're like spot on there. Some have spoilers, some don't. I think I will model the spoiler because it just looks really cool. Yeah, this this is a different version. It's a roadster. This is the this is the one we're looking for. Yeah, we've got that frame down. So let's just do the oops, wait, I, that's OBS. Let's just uh, do this wheel well, the rim of this wheel well, and I'd say that'll wrap it up for this video. So E, and then S, let's just accurately position these. Very nice. So let's just select that. Go into this back view. Ah, and that extends quite far out. So on the x-axis. So we're gonna very simple in that regard, really. All right. So we're gonna move these. Not the z-axis, the x-axis. We gotta make these come in a bit. Okay, now that that is looking nice, and it it does look a bit uh, like it's, it's jutting out a bit right now for now, but we can fix that with the subdivision modifier, which I will introduce in the next video. Oh my goodness, cops! Okay, well, yeah, that's where I'm, that's where I'm gonna cut it for the this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, stick around for the next video. It's gonna get much more interesting from here.